The second category is high quality results. Now this is fairly straightforward in concept, but there are lots of different kinds of high quality results. So for example, if I type up, probably looking for a movie, a high quality results give, result gives me data about that movie right up front, it's local data, movie times are there and so on. This is slightly more complex and we want to show it to you live. So Alessio is going to go to this product that's Google Square that's experimental right now, but we think has quite a bright future. So why is Google Square interesting? Let me tell you what it is to begin with. Uh, it's an analytical results engine, essentially. Uh, this experiment searches the internet, searches vast numbers of pages, and pulls them back to you quickly and in real time. So what Alessio has done there is search for Italian football players and the search engine has gone out on the web, looked at various sites, and pulled back data. As you can see when he mouses over, you can see the, the source of each piece of information. The great thing about Squared is that it gets better over time. So for instance, it learns from users. I'm looking at this chart and I might think, footballer's place of birth is not that useful um, of a piece of information, so I'll get rid of it. And Squared will learn if enough users do the same kind of thing. But I might also say Squared is missing something right now. Uh, what category could I add? Let's say I want to know about their height. As quickly as that, it's populated from websites. Now, we at Google, we're in the business of making the hard look easy. Um, so this is really quickly going out and getting this data and populating it in a way that's, uh, that's useful um, and readable. And you can also save these squares um, and export them to spreadsheet files quite easily by simply signing into a Google account. Going forward, another way that we try to uh, provide high quality results is by giving you new ways of searching the web. The internet is obviously huge and getting huger. Um, so to find the data you want can be a hard problem, but we think it shouldn't be. So here we have something called search options. Say I've just searched for a movie that's out now, Inglorious Bastards, that I'm interested in. I might think, to begin with, I'm interested in what people are saying about it on the web. Search options allows you to go to forums, so you, you can look and see what people are saying. Essentially, it allows you to cut the pie any way you want. You can cut your search results and dig in. Another cool tool within this is what we call the Wonder Wheel. So let's say I've searched for, um, Inglorious Bastards. I can't quite remember the name of the director. Uh, let's go to Wonder Wheel. Wonder Wheel is now going to populate related searches to what I've searched for. So I see there on the right is Quentin Tarantino. Now it comes to me. Let's look at Quentin. And as you can see, it's in real time populating on the right search results. So I'm getting closer and closer to what I'm looking for. If I want to know more about him, let's go to his filmography. So it's just another way to experience your results, right? 10 years ago, when you entered a search on a search engine, it looked like a really simple thing. You got back a list of websites. You searched for text and you got back text. And some search engines were better than others at, getting, at finding that text. It's a simplification, but it's fairly close to the truth. Now I think we're doing much more complex stuff uh, with respect to understanding the user and giving information in ways that are more useful.